Welcome to Security Check. Today we are going to talk about the new restricted list that just hit and it will be going into effect next Saturday, uh, 31st of August. Yeah. And I guess we should dive right into it. But first, remember to like and subscribe. That is free and helps us out. Helps us out. Or yeah. you can also leave comments what you think about the ban uh, restriction list and if you are... Uh, if you want to try uh, help us more, us mo- out more, please consider becoming a channel member. Yeah, it's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the ban lists uh, or the ban list up, up updated uh, restrictions and one card that got lift off from the ban list or yeah. restriction lift. Yeah, we only have one ban in Digimon, so if. It- Technically, it's more of a restriction list than ban list. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the first card that got restricted is the promo common that basically feels like everyone were like, this this, this or the other common should go to one. Yeah, and I think this is much more wise uh, restriction because of the memory gain and uh, because, well, Bandai probably won't want to... Uh, hit their BT-16 sales, but I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe they kind of hit hit the sales with this restriction list. We will talk about that later. Uh, but uh, this but is yeah. a solid hit. Yeah, and the, this was... The Ukkomon gaming was becoming too much because there were like seven to eight Ukkomons in so many different decks. And the, yeah. the aggro and tempo it gives you in those decks that were playing it is like too much yeah and with the with the other Ukkomon you also got get like consistency in your deck so and i'm i'm so happy that this uh, happened before we got uh 2.0 so we don't <laughs> have to leave the eight hybrid uh, i mean eight Ukkomon hybrid meta <laughs> yeah and i i think in hindsight again like the Ukkomons were like cool designs but it feels like they put too much into them it was like they should have either let it hatch again or gain memory but not both <laughs> at the same time yeah and same basically same with the other Ukkomon it should either search or hatch not both <laughs> at least it costs you to the you all yeah at so least. uh and this but this Ukkomon uh, would have been more balanced if it uh was also one cost to the jewel yeah and it's again like those even if you can't digivolve on top of Ukkomon, it's a problem for some decks because they can't really leverage Ukkomon then that well. But then there are some decks that don't even care. They're just like, yeah, yeah, slam eight Ukkomons into my rookie slots and then you probably don't e- never like evolve to level fours or something like normally. <laughs> yeah, like uh, you could uh, make like Apokalimon deck with uh, Belfemon cards or like Belfemon card a deck with Apokalimon one of Apokalimon because it's restricted also but like and r- run eight Ukkomon and it's a solid deck or <laughs> you could uh, like use eight Ukkomons in n- well Numemon was the uh, meta defining Ukkomon deck and now ancient Karurumon and then in the later later sets we get the other hybrid decks yeah so those uh, yeah. In Japa- Japan, Japanese meta, those were using Ukkomons. Yeah. And, and even, even like Machine Dragon <laughs> with eight Ukkomons. <laughs> yeah. And as a Ukkomons friend, the Promo Lui also got restricted. Yeah. So, so they're, they really hit these like Ukkomon engines with the Lui also, that you cannot like turbo your, like, evolve to Ukkomon, play a Lui, and then it, Lui basically costs like one. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and like, I I think the Louis hit is really not that effective because in most decks you probably play one or two of it, so it's not that bad. But then we saw those like uh, ancient couple bonds that played four of Louis, and <laughs> and then the memory gaining mat. Uh, that is also mentioned uh, in the text that tells why this is restricted. We are go- not going to read those because, uh, uh, well, maybe everyone already has, or if 
if you haven't already read them, you can read them here. Uh, if I show them correctly, <laughs> or you can just uh, go to go to the uh, DigimonCard.com website and read those by yourself. Yeah, and it's it's again those like uh, Louis with uh, together with the Matt and basically Ukkomons also lets you like turbo your rookies out and like it costs you almost nothing and gives you tempo in the game. Yeah. So um, and I I guess one of the things they mention a lot here is also the loss of dif- diversity in the diversity in the decks. Which is true when you like play like eight Ukkomons and then like Louis and stuff like that. And it's like yeah. it takes like ten slots basically from your deck or at least like seven to ten slots from your deck yeah. before you have even started actually building your deck i still think that uh five commons is too much but it's much better than eight yeah and at least now you can't gain that much memory with the commons and stuff like that yeah so and, and they left us with the like uh slower common so yeah. that's that's a good thing yeah, then we have um, to myself a little bit surprising restriction as they restricted Hammerspark. Did not see this coming. Yeah, and m- before we go forward, why Hammerspark is restricted and like uh, uh, other stuff, I would like to say that I'm disappointed that they only restricted Hammerspark. Yeah, that they should have, in my opinion, also restricted Gravity Crush. Blinding Ray and Jack Raid. Yeah. All, all of these zero memory, gain memory options. Yeah, because those are unbalanced. Like, yeah. uh, you would make... Hammers, an... Hammers, like, Hammerspark is probably... Hammerspark and Jack Raid are probably the... Most like, unbalanced. Most unbalanced, but at the same time, all of those are like cards that can be stacked together yeah so you can play multiples in one turn and then you have way more memory than you should have yeah and, and like uh jack raid can be the most like unfair card also yeah and as they they say that hammerspark is getting restricted because now that we are drawing so many cards you can like slam three of these easily on the same turn and stuff like that and i yeah. think that that also uh that also oh, like for the same uh, counts. It, it counts count. with counts with those uh, yeah. other uh memory yeah. gain options yeah gravity uh, gravity crush also ha- does have the lose two memory at the end of your turn yeah but you use it to win so yeah it does not matter. You, you usually use it to win or gain yourself a position that is almost unlosable yeah, and same with like blinding ray, and well, jack raid is just like dumb because you can in purple you can probably do it like even multiple times because you can loop the jack raids easily, but yeah, uh, still it's like I don't understand why hammer spark was the only one getting restricted. Maybe the others are not problem at this moment. Yeah, but they have but the they, same uh, same yeah. use cases and same reasoning. To yeah, be... and the, I- the idea is the same with yeah. all of them. I think uh, Hammer Spark is restricted because of Magnet Carrorumon. Uh, sorry, not Magnet Carrorumon, Agent Carrorumon. But like, oh, yeah. uh, still. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and they just say that it has become easier to speed up the game and widening the gap between decks that can use this card and others. Yeah. Which it's is a... true because, yeah, it's. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I still, I'm. I'm I'm disappointed that they didn't just hit all the zero zero memory gain memory options at the same time and just just make it so that they don't become a problem yeah. later on. I remember when I started playing this game with my brother and I had the uh, SD1 and he had the SD2 and I was like why they gave gave him a four of hammer spark it's an unfair card but <laughs> Now yeah. he could and not it, play the deck anymore. <laughs> yeah, and it was a really, really, really good card at the like earlier times of the Digimon card game. It fell off at some point, but it has always been there. Like it's still a fine card, and now it's yeah. again like too good, basically. At least yeah. in Japanese meta game, I guess. 
then we have some more options that got re restricted. Uh, and I think this is a really solid restriction. Awakening of the Golden Knight. Yeah, this is a... This was the... I think this is the easiest way to tone down the Magnamon X decks. Yeah. Because now you can't as easily just uh, basically warp into Magna X. Yeah, you need to just climb like a normal deck. Yeah, you need to evolve fairly. <laughs> yeah. So oh. you probably need to play more level fives. Yeah, and I guess you you could you can always of course play the blue Magnamon X deck where you can go on top of Magnamon and just skip to level five. But yeah. like, uh, but then even then you have to use the like what five memory to evolve to it. Yeah, that's true. But of course you can use trainings. But uh, this this was a solid hit. Uh, I think the uh, spoilers ahead. This is not the spoilers. This did not come out like. <laughs> The day that the restrictions <laughs> came out, uh, so yeah, Numemon X got hit also, and so Numemon took damage, of course, with the Ukomans and Louis uh, also affected Numemon. But like, uh, because of that, Magnamon X uh, would have been a problem if this and another card would have not been hit. Yeah, I, I think as, as a whole, the hits are kind of solid. Really there solid. Are, uh, I have a couple of cards, they add, as I said already, about those memory options, and then there's other card I will talk about after we have gone through the restrictions that I think should have been restricted in the end. But these are yeah. like, I think this is this list as a whole is like 3 to 3.5 out, uh, out of 5 list. It's like, it it's not perfect, but it does a solid job. <laughs> I think every card that was hit is, uh, uh, was need, like, was a good hit. Or go to restriction, but like there, there are still cards that I would have like added to this list. Yeah. So as you said, Numemon X also got uh, restricted to one. Uh, it's one of the most powerful cards in the Numemon deck. Of course, there's there's other cards you can think about in the Numemon deck that could have gone to one. Like you could have restricted Monzaimon X, which is also a absolutely bonkers yeah. card. Personally, and I would have restricted. Uh, the Monsimon X to one because yeah, Numemon X is uh, what gives the deck the speed, but uh, the because Ukkaman was hit, uh, I think the it slowed it down enough. But uh, well, I don't know. Will will the deck die? And maybe well, I can all, all, already say what, the one card I think should have also gone to one, not just because of Numemon, but as a whole, is the EX5 Edemon. Yeah. That the, card is like... That into, it, that into Ace combos are like... Nah, not it, healthy. Yeah, and one of the biggest problems is that it feels like about 75% of the good level 6 Ace cards are at at yeah. least half yellow or black. Yeah. So, so the the Etemon can blast into all the best aces in the game, basically. Yeah. So you you force your opponent to attack and then you blast into these like absolutely ridiculous ace cards. So you can go to Valkyrimon Ace, Cherubimon Ace, uh, Shadow Seraphimon Ace when the EX7 comes out. And then there's like not as good, but like there's also Vikemon Ace and yeah. like all the three great angel aces if you want to. And like you have so many options because the colors are what they are. Yeah. So and in the future also. Yeah. Uh, when we get new level six aces, uh, the Chastimon Ace can go on top of Edemon. Yeah. That was and revealed then, in uh, BT19. And... Yeah, and there's like there's Dynasmon Ace, there's uh, Lord Nightmon Ace. There is so many Aces. So yeah. Yeah. It, it feels like most of the Aces are at least yellow or black. <laughs> yeah. It feels like that. That's so the Etemon, Etemon should probably go to one at some point, just because it makes games really, like, kind of unhealthy when you your op opponent can basically get quote-unquote, free ACs when they want to. Yeah. But yeah, Numemon X is a solid, solid hit. 
Yeah, and the, as, as you said, Numemon took more hits with the Pokemon also, so it's yeah. interesting to see how good the Numemon deck will be. It probably will be still good because it still has speed and good, like, plays. May, maybe so. not like tier 1 anymore, but tier 2 or tier 1.5. But well, probably not the best deck in the format. Yeah, Mirage. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last restriction in the list is the BT14 TK Tamer, which was to myself, it was a surprise that I should have seen as a possibility. <laughs> yeah, I never like considered TK getting a hit. I was like, uh, Emissary maybe, or even Patamon, but like, I never thought about TK. Yeah, Patamon is is a little bit problematic because if you restrict Patamon, you basically kill the vaccine decks as a whole. Uh, yeah. So it's like now you leave the vaccine like engine kinda online, but you take out the best setup card for Patamon. So yeah. now now you are more you are more at the mercy of what your security actually has, or you have to set it up with some other cards that are not as efficient as TK. Yeah. And again, one of the biggest problems with TK was the interactions where Patamon evolves for free, and you get as many memory as you have TKs on the board, plus one from the Patamon. So you can at best get like five memory from a free evolve in your like yeah. start of main phase so if you have a like memory setter you go to eight memory and you can do literally everything yeah but i don't i i understand that this is a good hit and it's a reasonable hit but like does this just kill vaccine decks or are they still good okay they probably are still okay to play but like this is the biggest consistency card maybe in the deck so, but I, I don't know uh, it it's like one of these it's it's the biggest consistency card but it at the same time it like it's too efficient at what it does yeah so it's like <laughs> we would it's need like, like a tamer that costs four uh and like you could uh maybe oh, maybe a memory setter that on play you could uh Tuck one va uh, yellow card under your security or something, so you and you would have like the uh, consistency w with the uh, uh, like Digimon's in your security, but you would not gain memory with it. Yeah, it's interesting to see will they give us something new or I think this restriction kind of frees up their own design space with the yeah, max cards. Because as long as we had Patamon and TK both, every good level 4 vaccine Digimon, or like, they can't make truly good level 4 vaccine Digimons, yellow vaccine Digimons, because as long as we have Patamon and TK both, the if the level 4 vaccines are too good, the decks just, like, break completely. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you know what's really annoying me and kind of sad for me? Tell me. All of these cards that got restricted to one, uh, that have alt arts, I have full playsets of those. <laughs> well, now you have four playsets of them. <laughs> yeah, and I have like two different versions, or three different versions of the promo common Pokemons. <laughs> so, and all of, all are in full playsets. Uh, so, and the last thing in the list is the unrestriction of the starter deck six Gabumon, and well, it was kind of random restriction in my opinion when the restriction happened. Yeah, it was it was one of those restrictions where they tried to uh, they tried to answer some problems without actually going through uh, like restricting restricting the problem cards and it didn't work and now we have these random uh, purple cards in the restriction list because uh. <laughs> yeah uh, but this is a, a fine addition to many purple decks yeah it's a fine card and i don't think it was worthy as at restric in restriction yeah and, uh, especially now that they kind of killed the Metal Garurumon deck also. Yeah. So, 
Tai... Will this save the bell star on deck? <laughs> Who knows? My answer is no. Yeah. Go, go film is strong, but like... <laughs> yeah. And then... <clears throat> As, as we already said, like, Etemon should probably have gone the one just for the health of the game, as it's it's an integral part of the Numemon deck, but it's also one of the best cards in the upcoming mm, Mother Control or whatever yeah. you want to call it. So it's really good there also. So it will see a lot of play in the future in different kinds of decks. Yep. Um, and then Mirage Gargamon somehow avoided all restrictions I don't get again. it again I don't get it <laughs> well like okay it didn't do that much in Japan uh, but like uh, in EU and USA it really did do work yeah so and like it, it's winning tournaments it's topping tournaments it has been here for over a year at this point and it feels like as time goes on, Mirage just adopts cards from different, like, decks of blue and yeah. just takes them for itself. Now and we have seen an infinite blue with BD11 Mirage show. So, yeah. so. So, can we finally restrict the BD11 Mirage to one and just call it a day? Like. <laughs> and it, when you do that, please uh, restrict the BD4 Thomas also. That's but my, like, like my wish. But do the both. Do them both. Yeah. Yeah. Because but if we do, ever do get like... Thing. Yeah, if we ever get new Mirage Kagamon, or when we get new Mirage Kagamon, uh, the BD for Thomas will be just as good. Or but even they, better. But we should just like... Kind of like kill the deck already. Because they have, they have restricted some decks because they have been like too long in the meta game or like before but somehow mirage is just like well as our one of our friends said mirage has such good yam, jamming in the deck that the, even the digimon card game designers are like don't realize that the deck is there and they don't yeah <laughs> they don't actually restrict anything shout outs yeah, yeah but yeah. uh these were the list uh, this was the updated uh, restriction list and uh, our thoughts about it and what we would have added. I would have not changed, probably. I, I'm a little salty about the DK, but uh, as time moves on, I will <laughs> you get used to it. Yeah. But yeah, well, what's your thoughts about the uh, restriction list updates and uh, our thoughts about it? Uh, leave them in the comments and please do like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel and if you really want to help out, help us out uh, do consider becoming a channel member and we will see you at the next video bye bye